This is Keeper to Cipher 9. I understand you're running an errand for Darth Jorid. It may not be my place to know a Dark Council member's business, so I won't ask what she wants. I only want to advise you to take care. That's unusually thoughtful of you, Keeper. These are unusual circumstances. Would that they were different. Jorid has relocated to Darth Jadis' old chambers on Drummond Cast. She awaits you there. Keeper, out. Do you think you've learned your lesson yet, Keeper? Yes, my lord. I don't like that name. You certainly haven't done a very good job of keeping your agents. Speaking of which, Cypher 9, your superior and I were just chatting. Are you all right, sir? I'm fine, agent. I'll... Speak to me, not to him. He wouldn't be here if not for your lack of respect. You see, in our last conversation, you said... something that irked me. I don't remember what. I thought about having you killed, but then I thought, who's really responsible here? And I decided to punish Keeper. Keeper didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> You're truly ignorant of the nature of authority. <laughs> Keeper, you can go. The Cypher and I have business. I appreciate that, my lord. As for you, Cypher, good to see you alive. It's getting dangerous. I'm so sorry about this, sir. I'll be fine. I have Colto sprays in my office. Be careful. So, Fiordiano, is that him? Or is this another body for my collection? You have a body collection? I'm joking, Agent. Yanor and I are going to spend some time together. He's going to reveal every secret my father ever had. Expect a token of my appreciation. And expect to be called on again, my cipher. Anyone from Imperial Intelligence would serve the same. No reward, then. You will continue without my favor. Now leave me to my new advisor. Yanol and I need our privacy. Transmitting security codes, this is Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. I'm glad you're back on duty. After you dismantled the cells on Balmora and Narshadar, the rest of the Terra network went into overdrive. The more they move, the more visible they get. Our advantage. I'm not complaining. I told you before about the Eagle's mystery weapon, the Eradicator devices. We still don't know what they are, but we intercepted this transmission. Once the devices are fully functional, I'll enter the targeting codes myself. Only then will instructions be sent. But all cells are encouraged to prepare attacks on secondary targets. Once the Eradicators cause chaos in every Imperial stronghold, you must fan the flames. Stand tall above the wreckage. Shape the destruction into a message. That is how we prevail. That was the Eagle himself. It seems the assassination of Darth Jadis was only the start. We've eliminated two of his terror cells. We can stop this. I've run the odds. I wish I were as certain as you. There is good news. We have leads on two new terror cells, vital to the network's operation. They're your next targets. Proceed to Tatooine and Alderaan at your discretion. Your mission will continue there. Watcher 2 out. Watcher 2 to Cypher 9. Link established with Moss Illa Spaceport. Updating encryption protocols. And transmission secure. I assume the flight was uneventful. I have to say I don't know much about the planet. Tatooine's a desert world. Binary star system, minimal life forms, sparsely populated by farmers and petty criminals. Mos Illa is the sole Imperial outpost. Not normally somewhere we'd expect terrorists to congregate. But these are unusual terrorists. The Ghost Cell. Unusual in what way? Methodology? Politics? Species? Methodology and function. Years ago, we heard rumors of a training program for hardened radicals. A terror cell specializing in stealth, infiltration, and assassination. Information now suggests this ghost cell is real, elite support for the Eagle's network. Some lead to bring the cell from rumor to priority one. The attack on Drummond Cast forced us to re-examine our assumptions, accept new possibilities. We're targeting Tatooine on the word of an anonymous source claiming to be a former ghost cell member. 
The Sewell says that stopping the terrorists is a matter of conscience. He wants a face-to-face -face meeting. Don't worry. I can use a delicate touch. Soothe his paranoia and dispose of him when you've eliminated the cell. He's waiting for a call from a holocom terminal in town. Stay on guard. Watch your two out. I've been waiting for days. I don't appreciate being jerked around. Who is this anyway? Who sent you? I was told you could help me find the ghost cell. Maybe. We'll see. I'll talk about the terrorists, but I need a guarantee. If we're going to meet, no one can know. Not the ghost cell, not Imperial security. Give me your location and stay put. I can't. We each come halfway, or we don't do this at all. There are sentry droids all around town. Imperial model, but everyone knows their holocam feeds are insecure. The ghost cell could use them to find me. Take out the droids and I can make our rendezvous. No one's watching for you on Holocam. Once you've dealt with the sentries, head to the market. Give the droids Holocams to a merchant named Dato Wiss. He'll send you to me. Dato Wiss? Can he be trusted? He's just a drop point. Doesn't know a thing. If the way is clear, I'll see you soon. Otherwise, we won't speak again. Smells like a sweaty farmer. Great spot for a dead drop. Good droids. Many droids. You're coming to shop now? Yes. You look around. You're Dato Wiss, right? What kind of shop is this? What? This is a droid shop. Old droids, junk droids, made new again. You want broken droids? Speak to Jawas. You want good droids? Come here. I heard you were interested in holocams. Holocams? Yes, yes. For these we make an exchange. I get holocams, you get shiny mouse droid. Good condition. I don't want a droid. Who put you up to this? No, no, please. Mouse droid comes this morning, yes? With credit and instruction. Give in exchange for holocams. That is all I know. I do not ask questions when strange droids come with money, so you take it. I don't like it, but I'll do what I have to. Yes, yes, yes. Look, look, your droid is getting away. Better follow him. On Hutta, we used mouse droids for target practice. weapons down. I don't want to fight, I just... You sure you weren't followed? I followed your instructions and I was watching all the way. We're safe. Safe. All right. My name is Mia Hawkins. I'm not giving you the runaround. It's just... The ghost cell can look like anyone. Holographic disguise. Slow down and start again. Sure. From the beginning. I used to be part of Cobalt Flag, the anti-occupation group on Celest. We fought the Empire, organized bombings and sabotage. Didn't work. Last year, imp security cracked down. Most of us died. I was approached by people who offered me a way out. Retraining. They were part of the Ghost Cell. No. Just members of the Eagles network who pointed the way. The Eagles people smuggled me into Tatooine, brought me to this weird empty village in the middle of the desert. The Ghost Cell lived there, a few dozen fighters from around the galaxy, training under their leader, the Old Man. No real name, I take it. He was... ancient. Brilliant. He taught us how to move unseen, kill anyone. The old man's village was an empty model. We could experiment with bombs, sniper fire, whatever. I spent months there. Then they started kidnapping civilians, brought them to the village so we could practice. That's when I slipped away. That's very nearly sickening. Those people were innocent. There are limits. They're... 
The ghost cell has to stop. I don't know where the village is. They kept us sedated coming and going, but I had a thought. The cell gets food and supplies from some smuggler in town. Name of Dragon Eyes. If we can flush him out, he can lead us there. Someone we could lean on for information. Not my skill, but I've had friends who were leaned on by intelligence. They talked. I patched together these tracking devices. Wouldn't be hard to plant them on customers in the local cantina. People who know things. Then you ask around for Dragon Eyes, loud and public. Someone's bound to try and warn him, and with the trackers, we can see who. Believe me, I can make a scene. I'll monitor the trackers and call you when someone gets in touch with Dragon Eyes. But work fast, okay? So the Imperials come in with three astromech droids, and I'm thinking to myself, I see. You want something? I'm a little busy here. You're going to tell me how to find Dragon Eyes. And you're going to tell me now. Whoa, whoa, I don't know what you're talking about. Look, a lot of people pass through here. I can't keep track of them all. What's this guy to you? Let's just say you're better off not knowing. Well, I'll keep an ear out, but I can't promise much. Let's ask around, see if one of these losers can find a clue. Good news. An old Rodian left the cantina a few minutes ago. Fidgety. Nervous. I'm tracking him. Might be going to Dragon Eyes. The bad news is, ghost cell assassins are all over. They're coming to kill you. Didn't expect them so soon. Yeah. Sorry. They've got stealth tech and street clothes. No way to find and fight them all. You need to get them off your back and now. Take the offensive. Draw them into an ambush. That's not a bad idea. Grab a speeder out of town. There's an old wind farm not far. Plenty of cover. And dust's good for jamming stealth. Should hide the bodies too. Look, I have to go. They'll be looking for me. Talk later. Come out. The wind speaks your name. The sand would bury your corpse. You have asked improper questions. The old man has determined your fate. Why don't you lower your weapons and we can discuss this? There is nothing to discuss. Now it is time to die. <laughs> They're all dead? What did you do in here? Forget that, you're amazing. Do they hurt you? I'm all right, thank you. Let me take a look at you. They use poison sometimes. Even a scratch can be nasty. What kind of poison? Something from one of the native plants. Now can I take a look? I didn't mean to offend you. Of course. Here we go. The wounds aren't too bad, but... Now they're worse. 
You are going to fall. Then the traitor will share your fate. Hello? Still alive out there? One of the assassins looked like you. Care to explain? What? Blast! The ghost cell is very good at imitation. Holograms. The old man is better. Not surprised he trained someone to be me. A disguise like that isn't easy to pull off. I should know. Well, maybe you and the old man can exchange tips sometime. Now, while you are fighting, I think the Tracer's got a lock on Dragon Eyes. Let's meet up before this call gets intercepted. There's a trading post near our man's location. I can make it there. If it's dangerous, I can meet you back in town. That's... no, it's okay. After what you just did, the ghost cell will be distracted at least a little. I'll wait for you in one of the storage areas. Should be safe, if you're quick. And if... I have to go. You made it, huh? I had a detonator prime just in case. I can probably turn it off now. Mia, you seem a little on edge. Sorry, sitting here while the cell's watching, relying on an Imperial to help me, it makes me restless. And it's only a matter of time. As soon as I stop being useful, I'm dead. Or in Imperial custody. Same thing. No one's going to hurt you. You have my word. Nice to hear. Even if it isn't true. Back to work. I told you I tracked down Dragon Eyes. Your trap led straight to the terrorist supplier. Real nasty sort named Milo Shvarda. He works for the local crime syndicate. Group called The Exchange. What's The Exchange's role on Tatooine? I don't know a lot about them. The Exchange runs spice, gambling, extortion, broken legs and blown up speeders. Not a shock their guys connected to the ghost cell. Milos must get supplies through Masilla and ship them to the village. So, I need to get a hardened criminal talking about his terrorist clients. Is that all? You make it sound so easy. I'm sure he has exchange protection, but his house isn't far. Afterwards, we can meet back here. Oh, I... I didn't hear anyone come in. The guards usually call. If you had an appointment, you should know. My husband is out on business. He'll be back soon. I need to talk to him. If it's no trouble, I'd rather not have to come back. I'm not sure. No one said anything about a visitor. Who are you, anyway? What do you want here? Don't worry. Your husband and I go way back. I wanted to surprise him. That right. He's not big on surprises, but I suppose you know that. Well, I was about to fix lunch. Care to join me? That sounds wonderful. We can swap stories about Milos. Oh, I'm sure you have quite a few. Stars know I do. Isbet, I'm back! Who is this? What are you doing here? Don't be rude, Milos. I was just telling your friend about the time you sold the farm. This is not my friend, and things are very dangerous for us now. It's true. I'm not his friend. And things are dangerous for you. What does she mean? What's this all about? Shut up. Just... just stay calm. You were the one asking questions. I was promised you wouldn't survive. Who told you I wouldn't survive? How do you know someone would come after me? They're always watching. As soon as I heard, they heard too. The ghost cell came to me. They offered the exchange protection. Assassins. If we gave them what they needed, what could I say? They're worse than we are. And now you think you frighten me? We can come to an arrangement, Milos. All I want is to find their village. You're joking. What kind of arrangement? The Empire can give you full access to Mos Ela in return for your aid. Yes. It would be a very good opportunity. In return for their village, I get their supplies. My men bring the crates to a drop point in the canyons. From there, the ghost cell brings the supplies home by speeder. The next delivery is soon. Beyond that, I know nothing. 
This is the right thing to do. I understand. I will. I will not cause difficulties. Come, Isbet. Let's get away from here. Hello. I'm recording this message for you. Funny thing is, I don't know your name. By now you've talked to Milos. I hope he gave you what you need to find the village, because I've done all I can. Even sent everything I know about the Eagle's network to intelligence. But now I'm leaving, because I know how this ends. After the ghost cell is neutralized, you turn me in. I like you, but I can't trust you. You're an Imperial, and I'm a terrorist. Anyway, destroy the village. Kill the old man. They're not part of the Resistance. There's something evil. I used to blow things up too, but I don't get self-righteous about it. Anyway, what now? We're down by one. We go to the exchange drop point and find the terrorist village. Same as before. Works for me. Let's get going. Well, there's stuff here. Guess the ghost cell hasn't picked up its delivery. There's plenty of room inside these things. Guess where we're going. Worst part is, I've traveled this way before. Welcome, my child. I wondered whether you'd find your way. I'm so sorry. I couldn't stop them. I applauded you toward the end. You've trampled my garden, of course. But I admire your skills. What happened? Are you all right? I'm not dying. Look after yourself. The old man... Don't mind your friend. We found her in the spaceport and thought we'd bring her home. We could have killed her, of course. But what reward would that be when she's served so well? She's not your problem. This is between us. And I have no intention of harming her. The truth is, I let me a defect. From the moment she began training, I saw that she was weak, unworthy. I knew she would flee and turn on us. She was the perfect bait to lure an Imperial intelligence cipher. If you really wanted to meet a cipher, you should have come to Drummond Cars. Alas, I cannot trust Imperial hospitality. We've been watching you, learning your techniques. In Mozilla, at the wind farm, and exchange territory, sinking our emotions with yours. You're fantastically talented. You'll show us everything, and then we'll replace you inside your own organization. I don't want to fight you. Give up now, and I can be merciful. <laughs> All of you, kill her! You don't... You don't know what you're doing. You don't know how many lies are at work. No idea what's really going on. You'll have plenty of time to explain in your cell.
No, I will not be taken. Poison. <laughs> it's really him. He's really dead. I'm sorry about everything. I didn't know what he was planning. I can't believe he used me. There was no way you could have known. Besides, it's over. And I'm grateful for that. So, what happens now? The cell is gone, but we're both here. I am in no shape to fight. Let's say it was your choice. Tell me what you'd do. Seriously? All I want is my freedom. Part of me wants to stick around. You seem like good people, but I can't. You know? I won't try to change your mind. Make a life for yourself somewhere new. I... Thank you. I won't forget this. Goodbye. Try to remember. The other side isn't all bad. I'm not gonna ask. Let's just not tell your bosses. We done? Mia helped us. I wasn't going to kill her for that. What did I say about not asking? Come on. Might as well report back at the ship. Secure transmission established. This is Watcher 2. Your efforts to destabilize the Terra network are working better than expected, Cypher. Unfortunately, I don't have good news. We attempted to capture the Eagle in a raid on Tholaton. We found a base, but the man had moved on. Is there a trail we can follow? No. I'm still hopeful your efforts will draw him into the open. We've also been researching the so-called eradicator devices. They're satellites, orbital strike weapons with enough firepower to level a city. Here's the bizarre thing. The terrorists aren't building the eradicators, they're growing them. What do you mean, growing? The eradicators are a combination of biological and mechanical components, organic batteries in a weaponized shell. The terrorists don't need factories anymore. They can grow eradicators wherever there's room. Cheap, destructive, and disposable. Our people are jealous they didn't think it up. We'll continue gathering information. We know what the eradicators are, but not where or how they'll be used. You have your own mission. Destroy the cells and they'll lead us to the Eagle. Watcher 2 out. <laughs> 